How you doing, YouTube family? Man, Ant Man here back with another video, and um, uh, I'm about to go out and I'm about to speak to some, you know, young people, younger people, anywhere between uh, about 13 up to uh, 19 years old. Okay, and uh, investing in themselves. Uh, it's really important that we teach our young people, you know, our younger generation, you know, that's going to be taking over, dominating. You know what I mean? It's important that we teach our young folk you know, how to invest in ourselves the right way, how to find a great business, okay, and go full force into that new business. Uh, but before that, I want to talk with you guys about presenting, okay? Understanding, I'm sure you guys probably know, you know, when you're talking with somebody, okay, you want to walk around and you want to, you know, consult with them on a, on like, say the first row you present with them on a, you know, on a more personal basis and you're walking around looking at as many people as you possibly can, engaging everybody into the conversation, okay? But for those that fear presenting in front of people, for those that fear talking, for those that fear of putting the camera in front of their face and all of that, guys, it's really about you know, how much value can you bring to that audience? You know, those people, you know, everybody that shows up to a seminar or they show up to a webinar or they, you know, subscribe to you on YouTube, you have given them value, okay? You have given them separate, you know, nuggets and whatnot that they can take, okay, and hone in and say, this is a person that I want to, you know, watch on a daily basis. This is somebody that I want to, you know, listen to because he has given me value. He has given me something. Um, <clears throat> I never really was scared to, uh, 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 you know, put a camera in front of my face, but I used to be scared to present. You know, I was a real quiet child. You know, I was always to myself. I was very, very laid back and nothing wrong with that because I still am laid back and I'm sometimes to myself as well. I don't get into anything, but, you know, I started to understand that. I started to realize that my, my confidence started to build. Okay. When, you know, my confidence started to build when I knew that I had something to give to somebody. I knew that I had a software tool. I knew that I had a a, a, a uh, money-making opportunity. I knew that I had value to give to another person so they can bring what a lot of us all would, or if not all of us want more of, is money, Okay. When I found value in me making money, I didn't want to keep it to myself, right? So I started to make videos and I started to gain the confidence in myself to continuously make videos. And by gaining that confidence, I started to get phone calls from business professionals that wanted me to come into their business, sit down with them in their office and speak with them about the powers of GRE, you know, speak with them about, you know, talking with their sales team and to make them more better, you know, <clears throat> being that I'm only 25 years old, you know, I, I guess business owners see me as somebody that's very young um, and people pay attention more to young folks sometimes because a lot of young people my age are not into what I'm doing, guys. The area that I'm in, it's a lot of people that are not into online marketing. They're not into investing in themselves. They're not into, into starting their own business, no matter what that business may be. Most of the time, they're into other things, and you know what other things I'm talking about. So we're not going to talk about that right now. Um, but I started to gain more confidence because I knew if somebody called me, somebody emailed me, okay, somebody texted me, okay, somebody contacted me in one way or another, I knew <clears throat> that I could help them. I felt confident in, in providing uh, 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 knowledge. I felt confident in providing this value to them, being valuable to them, being a valuable asset, Okay, the number one thing that every business owner needs, no matter where you are in the entire country, is customers. It doesn't matter where you are. If you can provide them customers or a way, a cost-effective way for them to get customers, you will never be broke. Never. You will never be broke. So when you are aligned with a software such as what I have and whatnot, and, and you gain the knowledge of the things that you've done over the years... Okay, you begin to be of value. Business owners will begin to contact you, you know, and want to know more about what it is that you've done or, you know, how can you help them or we know that you can help us. We just, you know, they just want to talk to you about their business and whatnot. 
you'll have online entrepreneurs or brand new, uh, uh, you know, people, everyday people wanting to become business owners, okay, because they're looking for someone that's honest, that's genuine, you know, somebody that is going to give it to them straight, you know, from the hip real and tell you this is what you need to do this is what you don't need to do and this is who and what you need to follow okay so the wonderful thing about presenting or the wonderful thing about you know making videos is that you gain the confidence in your products not only that but you gain the prop you gain the, the, the confidence in yourself which i once at one point in time did not have i did not have that type of confidence to just put a camera in front of my face and just start bumping my gums, you know, just start talking, you know, I didn't have that confidence. You know, when I got that first call, okay. Um, what, what, it was a telemarketing company. Okay. Um, it was far out in PA and, um, it took me a little bit of time to get down. It was about like an hour and a half to get there, but I got there. Okay. And it was literally, it was about like only 14 people. Okay. And, uh, before I got there, you know, he introduced me to the fellas and everything. And uh, went into his office. It was like a manufacturing company where they did telemarketing, offering like gift cards and whatnot. And he was when he saw like an early, you know, late, late video. I mean, like a really old video of mine about a year and a half ago. And um, you know, we just was chopping it up. We was talking and everything. And he just told me what I wanted to touch, what he wanted me to touch base on. But he just he said, just do you, like just be you. He didn't even know that that was like one of my very first presentations of going this extreme in front of a business, like, you know, what, you know, with the business in front of people. That was kind of like my first go around, you know, as presenting that opportunity. So I, I, as I began to talk about it, it was literally about like maybe 25, 30, 35 minutes. And then I began to do a Q&A session with everybody, answered all their questions. Everybody was ready to go. And, you know, that was a twelve hundred dollar day. So I was really, really excited about it because that was that was a twelve hundred dollar day with the business owners. Okay, it was, it was the uh, the guy that owned the agency. It was another guy that that owned like a call center, and it was other like four other people that was in there that actually wanted to utilize this as their own like you know, a uh, uh, way to market to other businesses and whatnot. Because they're a call center, they wanted to do different things. They wanted to do ringless voicemail. They wanted to do a lot of different things. Okay. So it, it was more than a $1,200 day, but when it comes to the business owners, it was a $1,200 day for me, but it also was another close, it was actually over two, over $2,000 additional just in that one day, okay? So you could say it was about $3,200 or whatnot, uh, or $2,400, no, $3,200, yeah, you know what I'm saying, over three grand. So that was a really great day, you know? So... <clears throat> I would have never made that money if I if I would have turned it down. And I would have never made that money. Uh, but the thing is, is that, you know, I never was a speaker. Yeah, I see where God is bringing me. I see what God is doing with me. But I never was a speaker. I never was somebody to do this. All of this here. I never was that guy, yo. I never was that guy. But the confidence that I've built in standing by the products and services that I can provide, you know, I bring value. I bring businesses more customers in a cost-effective way. I bring online entrepreneurs more leads, which is more customers, basically, okay, which is, which in return can become more money. So, guys, never have a fear of what it is that you do. I don't care if somebody says, oh, this isn't going to work for me. This hasn't worked for me, this, that, and the third. You got to understand, at one point, I wasn't where I wanted to be neither, and I just saw this opportunity, and I said, I don't care if I don't make sales for two months. I know how valuable this is, and I know that business owners, as well as online professionals, online marketers, uh, anybody that wants to work from home, they can utilize this and hone all of this goodness in, you know, this wonderful system, and they can make money too. So guys, don't be fearful all the time. Step into what it is that God wants you to do. Like, step into that. Like, you got to understand, sometimes we leave money on the table because we are not stepping into what God wants us to do. We are just, you know, stuck in our situation and you have been invited to a lot of opportunities online. Maybe that's God telling you, hey, you know, knocking at, knocking at the door like, listen, let me in so I can show you this is what you need to do. Some of us are just, you know, sitting on our behinds, not wanting to take, you know, some of the information that we need to take in. You know, I was scared when I first got into online marketing years ago. You know, I didn't know what I was doing. I was doing network marketing. You know, I was selling products. 
you know, I was doing a clickbank thing. I was doing a network marketing thing, selling $5, this, $10, that, 15 20 30 40 50 here and there. I did the residual income. I did all the recruiting. I did all of that. And then I just grew from there. I just kept going, kept going, kept going. I wasn't making a whole lot of money, but I was making something. Sometimes all it takes is one sale, your first sale. Once you get your first sale, you are going to be like, yo, I don't even care if it's a qualification sale. And, 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 and you don't actually get the sale, but it's a qualification sale that was passed up. You did that. You did that from your own efforts, from your own work. You picked up the phone. You were sending out text messages. You were doing ringless voicemail. You was doing Facebook advertising. You was doing YouTube ads, okay? You was doing everything that you can, and you got that person interested, not just interested, but they pay. You can get somebody to pay you. You could do anything. I don't care what nobody got to say. There's the most, the best industry in the world is sales because if you can get somebody to pay you, you are the man, you are the woman, period. All right. So don't let somebody, you know, stop you from what it is that you want to do. Again, I was never this guy. I, I, I was never this guy, like never. But, you know, I'm getting phone calls. People wanting me to come to their centers and just speak with them. Okay. And, and sometimes it's not even paid. Sometimes it's just like just to get out there. And sometimes I do that because when I was introduced to the, to the opportunity to speak to young people, I didn't have that growing up. I didn't have somebody coming to me telling me about what I possibly can earn or what I possibly can make and who I possibly can be. I, you know, when you're, you know, I was growing up where, you know, you go to work every day, you come home, you know, you go to college and all that stuff and I'm not knocking it, but nobody talks about starting their own business. Nobody talks about encouraging the young people to invest in themselves. When you invest when you invest into a business, you're investing in yourself. So I'm going to go out to these people. I'm going to go out to these young folk, you know, with the parents and whatnot, and speak to them about investing in themselves. I never was that kind of guy. But I kept praying, you know, I I start I started back reading the word. You know, I'm not going to lie. I started back reading the word. You know, I was falling off for a little bit, but I started back reading the word. And, you know, I fasted for a week. And when I tell you, things just start, you know, boom, 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 boom. Things just start coming out of nowhere. And that, that's not even that's not even a joke. I'm telling you, it was a drought that I was in one time. And then I, I fasted and then things just coming in, you know, money coming in, opportunities coming in, people calling me all the time. Everything just going on. So I'm like, okay, everything that I do come from the Lord. Everything that I do. So I'm never going to sit here and not acknowledge God. Every dollar that I get, I take 10% of the week of it and I put it in a church. Uh, it doesn't have to be my church. I put it in another church or another church. It doesn't matter. Okay. You know, you got to put something aside, you know, for the Lord. You got to do something. You got to acknowledge him. Because if it wasn't for God, I would not be here. I would not be giving you this opportunity. You guys would not know me as Ant-Man coming to you live. You would not know me as that. I probably would be Ant-Man clank clank in jail somewhere, you know, you know, just chilling there, singing old school slavery hymns or something, talking about, you know, dumb stuff that just, you know, something to talk about. But guys... I want to thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video, guys. I'm here to tell you and encourage you. If I can do it, you can too. Don't ever let somebody disrespect you and your business. If this is something that you want to do, you want to get with Goldman's Extreme, the link is going to be in the description. I already have three people ready to get going uh, uh, this week, and I have one person ready to get going today. Um, and, you know, that's another $1,600 a week. Uh, pretty simple, pretty easy. I didn't even really work for it, to be honest with you. YouTube is really bringing me a lot of money. It's just crazy. You know, YouTube is really something else. I'm telling you. But guys, like I said before, if I can do it, you can do it. Like I didn't, I didn't have a lot of skill sets. I took a lot of courses and whatnot because I wanted to educate myself. I want to sound it like I knew what I was talking about and actually knew what I was talking about. But the thing is, guys, you don't have to have 14 certifications and 13 to 14 different, you know, niches like me. You can uh, 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 invest into a business opportunity, go through the training in the back office, go through the training again, and just continuously engage yourself with your business, okay? Talk with like-minded individuals, those that are interested. You know, talk with people that can help you drive traffic, 
Talk with people that can help you get you to where you need to be. And I guarantee you, God will use you the way that God has been using me. I want to thank you guys for taking the time and watching this video. Take care. And as always, God bless you. And remember, I love you. All right. If nobody never said that to you, listen to me. Listen to me. I love you. All right. I do, man. It's a lot of crazy stuff going on out here in this world. But I love you. Please support me. Uh, subscribe, you know, comment below if you like, like what you hear, uh, like this video, share this video, put it on your Facebook, let, let everybody know, you know what I'm saying, what Ant-Man got going on, but I'm about to be out, so take care guys, and as always, God bless you.